Money, my pebbles! Sorry, Fred, I'm an addict! <laughs> Hi, I'm Andre, and I'm a black nerd, and I'm angry! Yeah, but ah, but the rant! So what up, Warner Brothers? You got mad that the Power Rangers were all over the news with their reboot? Did you like, what do we have the reboot? And you went through all your archives of all the cartoon characters that you owned, and then was like, here's one, Flintstones. Yes, the Flintstones is getting a movie reboot. I, I can't do this anymore. I just, I can't. Uh, is this what my channel's gonna become? Did you wanna just call me Black Nerd Reboot? I feel like every single day I'm talking about a freaking property being rebooted into a movie. Why? Why the Flintstones? We already got a Flintstones movie. John Goodman rocked it with his loincloth. Rick Moranis did one of the finest performances since The Little Shop of Horrors. We're done, okay? We're done. How the Flintstones get a live action movie and now an animated movie and we never had a dinosaurs movie is beyond me. Oh, I'm sorry, the Sinclairs are coming to the big screen as the Ninja Turtles. I'm sorry, I couldn't resist it. Not the Shredder! <laughs> Yes, it's true, the Flintstones are getting a movie. You know the Flintstones, the Stone Age family, about the big, fat, dumb husband and his nagging wife. A storyline that we've seen over and over and over and over again. This is the first animated primetime program. The precedent that all primetime animated programs since then have had to live up to, like The Simpsons or Family Guy or Capital Critters. We'll never forget you, Fish Police. Actually, we did forget you pretty fast. And now Warner Brothers, who owns all the Hanna-Barbera characters, is the one that's making it. So, once again, Wonder Woman movie? Not ready for it. Flintstones movie? Heck yeah. Before you start thinking that John Goodman and Rick Moranis are gonna get called up, or Mark Addy and Stephen Baldwin, this is not going to be a live action movie reboot. Nope, this time the Flintstones will be on the big screen animated. It will be an animated movie reboot. Apparently somebody at Warner Brothers finally saw the crude and was like, oh, why didn't we do that? Now I know I've talked a lot about reboots and given the benefit of the doubt to a lot of them, but uh, this is a tough one here. The Flintstones, we're talking about a cartoon that was from back in the day. And I mean way back in the day. I mean, how do you expect the Flintstones to sell to an audience? Even their cereal, even Fruity Pebbles commercials nowadays do not have the Flintstones in them. They have John Cena and basketball players. If you can't even sell your cereal about the Flintstones with the Flintstones, how do you expect to sell a movie with them? Besides, they already tried to bring back the Flintstones. Seth MacFarlane was supposed to do a Flintstones reboot series, but it got canned after they didn't like the pilot script. It was gonna be on Fox. Yes, the same Fox that gave us Dads, That 80s Show, Models Inc, Stacked, Joe Millionaire, The Swan, Mr. Personality, The Simple Life, and added seven to marry with children, for some reason, didn't like the Flintstones. But Fox, I forgive you. You know why? He gave us Parker Lewis Can't Lose. And for that, your slate is wiped clean. Bless you, Fox. Let's talk business for a second. It makes a lot of sense that properties from the 80s and the 90s are being rebooted into movies for the big screen nowadays. Because people that were young kids or teenagers during the 80s and 90s are now teenagers, young adults in their 20s and 30s today. They don't have a lot of responsibilities. A lot of them don't have families. You know what that means? Disposable income, make it rain. When you go back to the 70s and 60s and beyond, it gets a little bit tougher because the young audience doesn't really know that much about their property and old Older audiences are so attached to the original property that they don't want to see it rebooted or remade or are dead. And eventually that's how we're gonna be like in 2020 when they're all like, let's make a Thundercats movie. We're gonna be like, no. Now one thing that's interesting to note about this news is they keep saying that it's going to be an animated movie reboot, but they never said a CGI animated movie reboot. So I personally will let this Flintstones movie pass on one condition. You make it traditionally animated. The old Flintstones cartoon was pretty limited in its animation. Seriously, look at the background on that thing. It's like the same background over and over again, just in a loop. Walk around in circles, walk around in circles. The Flintstones just have this sort of style on themselves where they're human, but they have weird bodies. So I feel like they would lend themselves better to 2D animation as opposed to CGI. Smurfs were proportionate in size, Alvin and the Chipmunks were proportionate in size, but Flintstones, Fred's got the big giant head, and then Wilma's like the stick frame, and then Betty Rubble. <laughs> so I'm just saying, I just think that they should be 2D traditional animation. Now you'll have traditional animation with a much higher budget than you had when the original Flintstones were done. The animation quality of the Flintstone kids. Let me put that in perspective for you. The Flintstone kids has better animation than the Flintstones. It also had a cooler theme song. Sorry. Flintstones, I mean the Flintstones is cool, but nothing beats yabba dab, yabba dab, yabba dabba do the bedrock Flintstone kids. Ow! 
B E D R O C K. And of course, if you're gonna have a Flintstone movie, you gotta have those Flintstone cameos. You know, you have to take the celebrity names and then change them so they'd be prehistoric versions of those celebrities. I've got a list for you. Here you go Zach Efrock, Scarlett Johanstone, Michael Fast Boulder, Brad Gravel Pit, Joseph Granite Levitt, Anna Kendrock, Idris Pebble. We are canceling the Stone Age. Ariana Granite, Megan Rocks, Jamie Rocks, Emma Wattstone, Rebel Willstone, Rain Willstone, Brian Cranstone, Samuel L. Jack Stone. I have had it with these great kazoo snakes on this great kazoo plane. You can also have Emma Stone and Chris Rock. They don't even have to change their names. And Jason Derulo has to do the soundtrack for it. Talk Dino to me. <laughs> Talk Dino to me. And you know they're gonna try to make it hip. Forget the bedrock twitch. Say hello to the bedrock twerk. There's a place I know where the gangsters go called bedrock. Uh. Twerk, twerk. Flintstones getting a movie. What's next? A live action CGI hybrid of the Pink Panther? A sequel to Shaq Fu? Or how about a television show that's centered around James Gordon and features a young tiny Bruce Wayne and villains? These are things that are happening, aren't they? Now I wanna hear from you. Are you excited about a Flintstones movie reboot? What would make you go see this movie? And what cartoon do you think actually deserves to be on the big screen? I'll be at Dallas Comic Con, so come out to Dallas Comic Con and see me. Be sure to thumbs up this video, and if you're new here, tickle that subscribe button. I make new nerdy videos every week. I love you like a play cousin. I'm Audi 5000. <laughs> Chain chump, yup.